Hello, this is Steve at Hydrogen for Health. One of the most asked questions I get is, what is the differences between your machines? And why would I choose one machine over another? I'm gonna answer those questions for you today. First off, I'd like to say that all these machines produce hydrogen and oxygen gas, and all of them can deliver health benefits. One machine is not better than the other when it comes to delivering health benefits. There are some differences between the types of machines here, and I'd like to go over them first. This machine you see here generates what's called Brown's gas. You've probably heard that term before, but what is Brown's gas? Brown's gas is simply a combination of hydrogen and oxygen gases mixed together. There is one other difference and I'll get into a little bit later. This Brown's gas machine delivers its gas through a single output port and the gas is mixed together. It's hydrogen 66% and oxygen 33% and you'll get that mixed gas together out its output port. These other three machines you see here, these generate hydrogen and oxygen gas also. But what they do is they separate the oxygen and the hydrogen through separate ports. So this machine here has a port for hydrogen and it has a port for oxygen. So you can breathe just the pure hydrogen or you can breathe pure oxygen or you can combine them together with an adapter and breathe both gases. This machine here you can see here's their hydrogen port and here's your oxygen port here and the machine on the end has a hydrogen port and an oxygen port in the back. The next thing you need to know is how much gas should I be breathing? Studies show for hydrogen inhalation to be beneficial, you need to be breathing at least 120 milliliters per minute. Now, milliliters is a way that we measure the amount of hydrogen gas that is exiting the machine. So the machine needs to be able to deliver at least 120 milliliters per minute. Now all these machines will do that. Now I'm gonna go over each individual machine and the differences between them. We'll start out with the Brown's gas machine. Brown's gas machine, first off you can see the water level right here on the front. It has a full line and a fill line. And right here you have your, your timer. You can set this timer from one minute to 999 minutes and it will count down to zero and then turn the gas output off. This is your output control. Right now you can see it's set at 100%. You turn this knob here to set the amount of output gas you want. This machine also has a unique feature and you have the ability to set the frequency of the water so you can imprint frequencies onto the water. So you can dial in whatever frequency you want right here on the top and it'll imprint that frequency onto the water. Also this machine can make what's called electrically expanded water. Only the Brown's gas machine can do this. It is said that electrically expanded water is beneficial to your health. None of the other machines can make electrically expanded water. So to turn the machine on, you have a main power switch here. Then you set the amount of time you want to breathe here. And it has a small button here at the bottom right that turns the gas on and off. Very simple to use. The H2 Pro 300, very easy to use. It has an on switch here. And you can set your time here, the timer for 15, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, and 90 minutes. The timer will now count down and then the gas will stop when it gets to zero. The HX600 Falcon has the main power switch in the back. Turn it on. Right here you have the amount of gas output here at the top and that can be set by pressing the set button. You can increase it and decrease it by using these keys here. Find the amount of gas that you should be breathing. Press set. Right here it will go to the amount of hours you want to breathe. So if you want to breathe for one hour, just set it to one hour and then hit set again and it goes to the minute setting. You can set how many minutes you want to here. So let's say you want to breathe for an hour and 15 minutes. Then when you press the set button, it will start to make gas at your presets. The HX 1200 Atlas has its power button right here on the front. You have a nice LED screen here that controls the machine. Right here you could put in your time setting. 
This is how long you want to breathe the gas. It goes in 30 minute increments. So the lowest setting is 30 minutes. Hit the plus, it'll go up to an hour, hour 30, and so on. So what you do is you set your time there. Let's say you want to breathe for one hour, you set your one hour time. Go back to the main screen. Then you want to set how much hydrogen you want to be inhaling by pressing the flow setting. You take a look at the chart on the back. It'll show you how much gas you should be breathing depending on your weight. Find your weight on the chart and the amount of gas you should be breathing. And you come over here to the display. As you can see, this machine goes in increments from zero. First setting is 120. Next setting is 240, 360, 480. So you set the amount of gas that you'll be breathing. Press the back button, you go back to the main screen. And to start it, you hit the timing switch if you want to use the timer. If you want to go manual, you can hit the manual switch and the machine will start, but it won't be timed. If you hit the timing switch, machine will start and it will be timed. You can see our output is 360 milliliters per minute and our timer is now starting at 59 minutes and counting down. It also shows the hydrogen purity is 99.99%. Also shows that our water level is good. When the water gets low, it'll tell you to add water. Right here we have the sleep mode, which will turn the screen off so that you won't have that bright light. To turn it back on, you just press the screen anywhere for a second. Take your finger off the screen will turn back on. Right here there's also a brightness setting. You can set the brightness of the screen. You want it less bright, just push down or brighter, push back up. Also another question is why do I need a higher output of gas, higher than 300 milliliters in a machine? If you're putting hydrogen directly on your skin, like putting a bag over your arm, or you want to bag a certain area on your body and you'll be able to apply hydrogen directly to the skin, you need a higher output of gas to do that. Since hydrogen escapes quickly, you want a higher output rate to be able to use it on your skin. You can use 300 milliliters per minute for bagging and cupping, but a higher output of gas makes it a lot easier to use and you don't have to apply it to the skin for as long a period of time. So the HX600 that makes 600 milliliters per minute, if you're gonna be bagging or cupping, set it to 600 milliliters per minute. Also the HX1200 Atlas, you can set it to 1200 milliliters per minute, which makes it even better for bagging and cupping. Also the Brown's gas machine at 100% does make 550 milliliters per minute, so that's enough gas for bagging and cupping also. Another question I always get is, why are your machines better than others? I get lots of emails that ask me, is your machine better than, than this machine? Let me give you a couple reasons why our machines are better than any other machines out there on the market. When it comes to the Brown's gas machine, this really is the best choice on the market right now, simply being because it uses very little lye, which makes it very safe to use. You'll never get any lye into your breathing gas or your water. This machine is also very lightweight and it is the easiest machine to set up. And when it comes to maintenance, you can do maintenance on this machine in 10 minutes. It doesn't have a cumbersome maintenance schedule. Very easy to use. Also, this Brown's gas machine is very affordable compared to other machines on the market. For the other machines, you're gonna find out that this machine at 300 milliliters per minute for the price is the best machine on the market that is available today. Also, the HX600 Falcon, this machine is the best price, price machine at 600 milliliters per minute that you can find on the market. Also, this machine has a failure rate of less than 0.5%. We've been selling this machine for four years now. The HX1200 Atlas, making 1200 milliliters per minute. You will not find another machine on the market that is more heavy duty and makes that much gas at that price. Also, another reason why our machines are better is because we have a facility here in the United States that can repair any of our machines. So if anything goes wrong with your machine, 
rest assured you'll have a place to be able to send your machine to get it repaired quickly. No other U.S. company repairs their own machines. If something goes wrong with your machine, you'll be instructed to send it to a third party to get it fixed. Sometimes that third party is China. Your machine will have to be shipped to China to be fixed and then sent back to you. All our machines have a one-year warranty. After warranty service is very easy to do. All you do is ship it to our facility in Utah and we will fix it quickly and get it back to you. So rest assured if anything goes wrong with your machine, it's gonna easily be able to be fixed at our Utah facility. With that being said, these machines are very heavy duty. They will last you many, many years. Hopefully I was able to answer the question, what is the difference between our machines? If you have any questions for me, I'd be glad to help you out. You can email me at info at hydrogen4health.com or you can visit www.hydrogen4health.com and we have a chat window on our website. You can easily ask me questions there. I want to thank you for stopping by and watching our videos. This is Steve. Thanks for watching.